wanted to bring something forward that I found very interesting that um, the last session on, I think it was June 29th, um, was sharing about setting up for July about the light vessels because July is really the language of in its definition in English or Greek. It means halal and it means kind of the marriage of Lilith and halal. But um, I, I shared from a perspective of what I felt was coming in from the sword language, which is directly connected to the missing role of the ephod because it's the sacred measure of the dream stone. It's the tribe of Dan and it's the measure of a sword. But the sword extrapolates out to many things. It's it's um it is the tribe of Dan, but it is it's, it's something that's lost that's found that's ancient in its frequency and it's coming back in to restore an ancient measure. So the language of this of the of the sword goes connecting to I shared it um, uh, specifically about trying to bring a narrative forward is like the priestly line um, were physicians they were they were fully aware of many in all frequencies of restorative qualities of temple service and therefore they were physicians they were um they were counselors they were of the the Melikim line of you know kingdom queendom language of frequency of resolve they were prophets they were prophets right and so they functioned in that kind of an office and it's it's a language of you know a state kind of a language well, I brought the narrative forward about that the, the use to, in the, in the lesser black and white script language, people would show up and they'd bring offerings and they sometimes they put meat into a pot and then the, the priest would put in a fork and draw out his portion. It was like a reward. And so the sword is that kind of the same frequency is that we see that what we're being shown right now is something is coming into the earth that we share. And it's like a sword and went through the sword last week and then but the sword is multidimensional. We, we, we want to picture Excalibur or sword or blade, but we know we try to break that down, that it's a resonance of heart. But it also extrapolates out as a spear to try and to connect it to Cain. But it's also the language of a trident. It's a forked tongue that we're able to speak with one resolve, but we're winding in mother and father. So that being said, without taking too much time, I wanted to share the next day, this is what showed up on, on my screen that I'm going like, very interesting that, th and this is, this is raw and this is how it presented itself to confirm what we're seeing. Didn't doctor anything simply, this is what was shown a trident coming into the earth in a cloud formation right on the 1st of July. So however you see that, whatever you see as that, it simply speaks con confirmation to me. As soon as I saw it, I said, Carrie, look at this, this, this actually was taken on June 26th, but they couldn't get it out until July 1. But so it was actually, um, Mr. BB uploaded it on June 30, 30th, the last day, and J J you saw it July 1st. And I saw it July 1st, but yeah. I was already taught because I could already sense that this was coming in. Now, and, and, and yes, it looks like a, like a, a little bit of a blurred, but for him to put the trident that way to say, this is what it looks like is exactly, like, again, um, is it a, is a sequence of events? Is it orchestration? Is it is it is it right? But again, magic is magic. The frequency of resolve is the frequency of resolve, and we're just trying to connect with things. And this is the language of how it extrapolates out as a resolve. I'm not saying it's anything other than what it speaks to you, because that's all it can be. But what it speaks to me when I extrapolate this out. It's telling me that something is coming into the earth to bring a priestly measure. And exactly the verse that led me to is that, that the fat, which is which means shaman, will wrap itself around the trident or around the blade, and they will be pulled out. That's the language. It will be a portion and a measure. And this will bring restoration back in the earth. I'm not saying they're going to be removed from the earth because I'm not being shown that. What I'm being shown is, is that there'll be something that wraps themselves around this as a measure, as a, as a covering, and they will be pulled out and the earth will see them as a restoration of priestly measure again. And that's what I'm seeing. So I just wanted to share that confirmation with you. I hate to miss these things. When it speaks such volumes the very next day, I can't miss that. Now, that being said, that... Because of what it is as a measure, we said that there's something being plunged into the earth as a measure, that it's like a heated up sword that will come into the measure of the water. And that's what we have on the board right there. It's the measure of the sheen marrying itself as mother and father. It's all about us, though. It's coming in to see where we are. 
plunging in within a people, it will sear as a hiss because it's of a frequency that's beyond. It will come into the water of the depth of your own well, and there it will sear itself with a hiss. This is all through the language. You see this language of the serpent language, but not a negative. It just means a, an ancient seed line or the lineage of line is presenting itself through the measure of Obed, which is the father of Jesse. This is, again, the sharpening that produces the sword's frequency. And so we'll go into that next Wednesday. But I just wanted to connect with this narrative or this picture that's being presented right now that affirmed that connecting with us, because this is how it works with us, to tell us that this is actually happening right now on the Earth. So the month of July, if we can see it correctly and connect it, it should be a line of lineage that is directly connected to the light of the priestly order, re-establishing its intention of origin. Yeah, agreed. So, thank you. I'm yeah. glad that we brought that forward. Yep.